Hello and welcome to Give West Exit Transition Meeting. I'm here with Ms. Riddick. Thank you all for joining us. Today is April 20th, 2022. Today we are going to discuss several things that's important to your child as they move from sixth to seventh grade and seventh to eighth grade. Ms. Riddick is gonna talk a little bit about the procedures and the processes that are in place for that. And she's also gonna discuss a little bit about the middle school and high school transitions. And finally, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about our important evaluation, which is what we need for you all to complete at the end of this session. So welcome again, my name is Dr. Hamlet. I'm one of the assistant principals here. In our ongoing efforts to improve our school, we invite you to go through the recorded Title I planning meeting and provide us with your comments, suggestions, and or ideas for improving our school and the educational experience we provide our students. This meeting is to inform parents of the transitional back to home school process. Our counselor, Ms. Riddick, middle school, will discuss requirements for promotion and graduation. The plan and the promise. The plan and the promise is our Title I based um, policy and procedure for our parents, for our students, for our community. It's established the school's expectations for parents, family engagement, and describes how the school will implement a number of specific meaningful family engagement activities designed to increase student academic achievement. Parents and families can all, always get a copy of the plan and the promise on our school website or in our school at the Parent Center, Ms. Garcia can support you with getting that information. At this point, I'm gonna throw it over to Ms. Riddick where she will continue with the sixth, seventh and eighth grade transitions. Ms. Riddick. Sixth grade promotion criteria. Students must earn a passing average both semesters in order to pass the course for the school year. Both language arts and math must have passing averages each semester. Students must pass five out of six subjects for the school year. Should a student not earn promotion to seventh grade, he or she may have the opportunity to attend summer school to learn the AKS curriculum not mastered during the school year. A special education student's promotion is determined by his individualized education program or IEP. Promotion for an English learner or a student with limited English proficiency is guided by his or her English learner proficiency plan. Seventh grade promotion criteria. To earn promotion to the eighth grade, students are required to pass five out of six subjects each semester. Language, arts, and math must be two of the five subjects passed. Should a student not earn promotion to eighth grade, he or she may have the opportunity to attend summer school to learn the AKS curriculum not mastered during the school year. Students may attend summer school for no more than two semester long classes. A special education student's promotion is determined by his individualized education program or IEP. Promotion for an English learner or a student with limited English proficiency is guided by his or her English learner proficiency plan. Eighth grade promotion criteria. To earn promotion to the ninth grade, students are required to pass five out of six subjects each semester. Language arts and mathematics must be two of the five subjects passed. In Georgia, eighth graders are required to achieve grade level expectations or above on the Georgia Milestones end of grade assessment in language arts and mathematics. Students who do not meet either of these state promotion requirements may be required to retest after summer school. Students who not meet grade level proficiency on the reading and or achieve performance level or developing or higher on the math EOG, but who have a year long average that is passing of a 70 or higher in language arts or math may be promoted. A special education student's promotion is determined by his individualized education program or IEP. Promotion for an English learner or a student with limited English proficiency is guided by his or her English learner proficiency plan. Eighth grade transition to high school, earning credits. Each class that your student passes is worth 0.5 credits. A traditional schedule includes six classes. Students can earn three credits by the end of the first semester. Students will then take six more classes in the spring. So at the end of the year, they could have a total of six credits. Summer school opportunity. 
students who do not meet promotion criteria may be provided the opportunity to attend summer school. Summer school is an opportunity for students to learn the AKS curriculum not mastered during the school year. Teachers will notify you if your student is eligible to attend summer school. Give West summer school information. Middle school summer school will be held from June 13th to July 1st. This year, summer school is for enrichment and promotion. If students fail math and or language arts for the first and or second semester, they have an opportunity to make up the course during the summer to be promoted. What if my student is failing? Ensure you have a parent portal account. Check the parent portal daily for your students' grades. Set up a parent-teacher conference as soon as possible to discuss any low grades. Remember, the student must score a minimum average of 70% to pass the subject area. What does your student need to do to exit Give West? Exit paperwork will be sent to your student's homeschool. Parents will also receive the exit package when they come to our mass exits. What should you and your student do to enter your homeschool? Please mark your calendar. A counselor from your homeschool will be at Give to discuss registrations and to answer any questions. Middle school mass exits will be held on Monday, May 9th, between the hours of 9 and 1. High school mass Essex will be held on Tuesday, May 10th, between 9 and 1. If you are unable to come to our mass exits, please call the homeschool and make an appointment to register your student for school. Someone may be available over the summer to do this, so please call and see if this is the case. You want to get your student registered as soon as possible so he or she will not miss any days. Difference between middle school and high school, school time, team of teachers versus individual content area teachers, school size, communication, promotion requirements, connections versus electives, and transition between individual classes, as well as extracurricular activities. Any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to our parent coordinator, Consuela.Garcia at gcpsk12.org, or myself, the counselor, Tawana.riddick at gcpsk12.org. Thank you so much, Ms. Riddick. Um, we do appreciate you and all that you do for Give West students. Please, if you have any questions, contact Ms. Riddick or Ms. Garcia for additional support. Um, at the end of this presentation, you will have a link to a evaluation or a survey you can leave your comments, questions, suggestions there for us, and we can support you through um, any kind of response that you have. Again, if you need to contact the parent coordinator, Ms. Garcia is there to support you. Thank you again, and we look forward to working with your students.